Good morning, folks, and it's a late one. It's Friday, June 17th, 2016, 9.03 a.m. And insanity still flourishes on the other side. It's incredible, the stupidity that I have to deal with every day over there. There's layers upon layers upon layers of source individuals over there right now that are trying to run things. Behind it, and she doesn't want me to say this, <laughs> and that's just tough. Um, behind it is part of Lily. That's literally moving things around where she can to bring energy up to me so that I have to deal with it. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, there is. Is it wrong? Um, I can't say that it is, other than the fact I'm really tired of dealing with this stuff. Until errors complete on the other side, there's going to be problems. Error is the only thing there is that can actually destroy energy. So, <laughs> it's being used to do exactly that. He can also clean it and put it away, store it when you've seen me in the early years put something in my head that's what's going on it's like a filter that's in there I realize so much of what I say is so hard for so many to understand or even hope to believe right away and that's as it should be Things need to happen at their own pace as far as uh, your understanding. That, that You don't just turn it on. I know I didn't. When I was first waking up, I started feeling energy all over the place. And I was, I was different before that happened. Before the fighting with the original first being male and female, um, I, was, I had a certain sharpness I don't have anymore. Uh, the original male trans transmutated part of my brain that uh, caused some issues. And now I've... I go around that, but um, uh, I love you, Herky. Good boy, honey. Um, but I started seeing and feeling a lot of spirit. Good boy. Good baby, honey. Um, he's looking sad. Uh, nobody wants me to talk about this. I don't give a damn. I don't care. This is not going to fall on receptive ears. I don't care. I'm doing what I said I did. Life after life after life after life. I'll tell you what's going on the other side. There's no universal power. No God. Great God. Um, The way things have always been set up is male source energy, the strongest stuff that there is, is responsible to be the field of energy everywhere. That cult is trying to interrupt what I'm saying. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, I'm only going to be alive a few months, and then here it is. Um, these assholes on the other side just took out my dishwasher, my new dishwasher that's not under warranty. That's funny. Um, it's one thing after the other. Um, there's nothing 
there's no great perfect being. And if you think about it, how the hell can there be? You have war, you have famine, you have disease, you have serious maiming and destruction, killing, death, um, butchering, animals, people. Look at the way life is set, is set up. How can any of you religious people have the audacity to say there's a perfect God or some kind of perfect being? Do you ever think about what the hell you're thinking about? Where the hell does that come from? It comes from what you're taught. Okay, I understand that. But where does it come from there? People, we need to start looking at what's going on as far as spirit goes. We need to start questioning stuff. If the Bible says there's a perfect, all loving God, that's all knowing. And it's perfect. So it made the imperfect Adam, his first son he made. And later on, it makes Jesus Christ his only son. What the hell happened? Um, did uh, the great almighty, perfect, all-forgiving and loving God that also created hell to abuse you for everyone who's pissed at you? Did he just avoid that out? It's like, I'm, I'm giving me a, I'm going to give myself a gimme, a do over. I'm just forgetting about that. And yet, told us about it too. And the thing with Eve. Eve came from Adam. So Eve should always do whatever Adam says. And uh, Adam did a bad thing, but it's really Eve's fault. Wow, that's not a male-dominated uh, society, is it? Or at least the push into that. If you had a perfect, all-loving being like the lawless act of attraction. This wonderful being wants you to have everything. Well, why don't you? If I really want you to have a sandwich, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a way to get you a sandwich. As long as I can, I'll get it for you. So if it can do this for you, why doesn't it if it wants you to have it? Folks, that's simple. That's simple. So, instead of trying to find little reasons to give yourself false hope that there's a shortcut to have everything you want, which you'll never have, not in a body, not out of a body, it's time for people to start looking at who they are, what's inside them, and what the hell's going on around them. Until you wake up and find out who you really are, you, you don't have a starting point. You have to start with the most simplest, wonderful thing in the world. You. Are you simpletons? No. No way. Incredibly intelligent, incredibly powerful. But it's a, see? But it's a simple start. It's where we need to start. Um... Folks, it's really important to find yourselves. There's a lot of love out there. Trust me, there is. And right now, there's a whole lot of chaos. It, it's crazy, okay? Um, I'm tired of dealing with it. I really am. Uh, but I'm, I didn't come here to do this for nothing. If there's anything I want anyone to know about me and Lily is that we're two different, we're, we're two parts of a of original, of some, not original source, but a, a very original energy, you know, from the early times. We, we were the first ones to have lives. We understand what's right and what's wrong in a life, and we're doing everything we can to put this together. Uh, Years and years and years ago, people were starting to realize I was different. And then they started seeing the fighting and everything going on because they were near me. And they said, damn, she, I would love to be able to do what you do. But you know what? You couldn't pay me $100 million to be you. No way. Um, dealing with that stuff. Folks, 
I take care of all the big heavy stuff that's over there. I probably shouldn't say that. It's like trying to get attention or something. But that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get you to understand something. Things on the other side are not like you think. There is no perfect, all loving, all forgiving God that made hell. I mean, please take the time to think. Just some simple thoughts. What's going on? What's going on over there? What's happening? As you start to question that, you'll start to question some other things. And then if you can take this this false concept of this perfect loving God, you know, God or universe or whatever, if you take that thing and just get it out of your head and just sit there for a minute and relax, you know what you're gonna find? You have a, a certain clear, clearness of head, uh, of, of thought, excuse me, of thought process, Christians, everyone else, all these major religions, you're imperfect, you're a sinner. Why? What did you do? Did you go stab someone? Did you throw rocks at someone? Why are you a, a, a sinner? It was against the word of God. It's a cycle. It's a vicious cycle. And if your great-great-grandpappy did something, who the hell is anything that is anything that's worth a damn to say that you're going to pay for it. How do you get there? You can't. Not with any kind of reasonable mind. People, stop accepting that crap. Please, and don't do it for me. Do it for you. I'm fine. I'll be home in no time doing what I was made to do. And I've been waiting a long time to do it, folks. This is about you. Every single one of you, all your friends, the ones you love, and everything else. It's time for all of you to literally start asking simple questions with an open heart, open mind. It's not like you want to hurt anything. It's just like, where did this stuff come from? If there's a Father God, but there's no Mother God, and that's what 2012 is supposed to be about, everybody coming alive enough to see that there was a Mother God, and everybody on your hands and knees, praise Mother Father God. You know, like Sylvia Brown talked about, I love Sylvia, not picking on her, she was done to do that. Made, made to do that, and she was led there, and, you know, that's the way that went. I love Sylvia. I love everyone. It's, you know, I would be happy if everybody could see what I see, because then I could leave immediately. There wouldn't be any need for me to be here. There's not there's hardly any reason for me to be here now anyway. Except just to finish what I'm doing. And now I'm going to do dishwasher. <laughs> and that's funny, excuse me. The house will be torn down in uh, whatever matter of months. And here's the uh, or year, whatever. Um, and uh, getting a new dishwasher. Um, that's not what this is about, but it did help prompt it. Um, I'm just so tired of dealing with the stuff over there. Um, the original first being male and female, which made itself male and female before it did anything else. And you think about it, if everything else in life is about male and female, you know, the, the offspring, recreation, um, uh, animals, people, uh, birds, whatever. I mean, if that's the, the mainstay of what exists, why would there be a father god without a mother? And then also there's that universe energy that's neither male nor female, uh, no such thing. Um, that's not the way it, uh, the original first being formatted everything. So, uh, folks, if you take a little time and relax, you're going to find out that this religion stuff doesn't make sense. I don't have a philosophy for you. I have something that's real. It's called you. The University of You. That's my school of thought. It's who you are. And you and you and you and you, which winds up making up everybody and everything. That's what this is all about. The stronger you get, the more you see, the more you understand. And I've actually had a couple people, not not it can't even fill up a hand, okay? But I've had a couple of people come up to me. A 
a few, which is three or more, and less than five, so it <laughs> narrows it down pretty good. Um, I've had just a few people come up and say, Jay, now that I understand what's going on, I, I, I kind of wish I didn't wake up. I want to be, you know, I want to be ignorant again, dumb. And I'm like, really? I said, I can pull it out of you. And, uh, no, 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 I don't want you to. Um, no, I'm not going to sneeze. Get over it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry. Can't mess with me. Um, anyway, uh, uh, so, um, you know, they said no, but they were just wishing they could have the best of all world, all worlds. It doesn't work like that. The world is. Reality is what it is. But it's time for you to see what it is. Okay? Um, what everyone needs more than anything else that I'm aware of right now is to be able to relax, calm down, and emanate their energy out of their body. Okay, people, I do not like the word meditation. I've used it, don't like it. Um, you say meditation, you think of gurus, transcendental meditation, blah, you know, the Tibetan monks, uh, mantras over and over and over again, mantras. Um, that's engaging the conscious mind. Okay, I don't care where you're from and what you are. I don't, I don't care what you've been doing all your life. There you are in front of me, and there you are ready to become what you are doing your own natural thing, relaxing, but it, well, I call it emanation, because as you relax and calm yourself down, your DNA starts to uh, unswivel, it'll never be straight, but instead of being all crimped up, it just smooths out, and then as you relax, you literally set your mind to function where it's best where you can hear your spirit guides and everything else. You do this for yourself very easily. It's about becoming awake, okay? Now, what I've... Lily actually helped me out with this, and I appreciate it. Folks, I'm hard on the other side, because... And, and it's messed up, and I'm hard on, on them. Uh, most of you all know that. I'm tired of having to deal with it especially through a body. Um, I'm making some new spheres, okay? You don't need one of these. I said it right now, you do not need one of these things. Will it help you if you're having problems relaxing, which is what I call emanating? When you emanate, emanation is the release of something from a basic source of it. So your energy that's in your body, and folks, you're trapped. You are locked into your body, but you do flow out of it. To help you flow more of yourself out of your body, so, and also to relax your body so you can do more, relax, calm down your body, your DNA, your mind, process thoughts so you can become alive, talk to your spirit guides better. Um, these spheres, okay? I've talked about these spheres. That was squeaky. Um, these are acrylic plastic and cheap plastic. That's all they are, okay? These things cost because of the energy. Also, what I put in there is expensive, okay? That's the sphere. Then, I have sheets of pure copper, okay? This is pure copper. This is what the finished product looks like, okay? That one's for a Raj. Um, Raj is uh, Ara Energy. He's out in uh, New Zealand. He's one of uh, three male uh, uh, straight Ara, uh, pure Ara Energies uh, focal points that are here on the planet. There's a few more. <clears throat> right now there's about eight or something, but uh, whatever. Anyway, um, so in the spheres, I put whatever's needed for you. In these meditation spheres, This is a nice jet. This stuff is beautiful, okay? This stuff is nice. Some of it's a little lighter in color. Almost see-through. 
opaque. Okay, this stuff is very nice. I use uh, some jade. Come here, guys. No, it's not, it's not it. Anyway, um, I use some celestite. That's celestite. That's very good for the hypothalamus. It's very important for understanding, and it smooths out energy. When I put it in these spheres, excuse me, when I put them in these strong spheres that I make for the for people, it really does help you understand. It slows down the vibrations, but it, it changes it to where you get more depth out of the energy. You get more depth of understanding. This goes, like I said, it goes right for the right to the hypothalamus as well as the rest of the body, but it really goes into the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the control point for understanding of, and uh, of all your metaphysical abilities. Um, also, there's a touch of selenite, but not much. Um, when I do these custom spheres, uh, the, the custom uh, emanation spheres, that's what I'm calling them emanation spheres because it helps you get out of your body okay it helps you calm down and relax i'm not going to use the word meditate but those of you that want to use that word which is fine then you will call it a meditation sphere but it's an emanation sphere um there's only a certain amount of this i'll put out there uh put in it also um to help when some of them are going to be pineal related they're going to have uh, lapis and uh, picture jasper in it. And some of them are going to be uh, heart um, emanation spheres. Um, and uh, they're going to have uh, some very high quality raw um, rhodonite uh, in it. Uh, solar plexus is going to, it's going to have added to that um, um, the yellow aventury. Um, also, there's one for the core. That'll be a little bit different. Um, these things are going to be three hundred sixty-five dollars. Okay, that's for a set orientation. So you can use it. Your parents can use it. You know, um, any sphere I make, someone else can use it too. But when I make a custom sphere for you, it goes right to who you are. I mean, you know, to your energy. I, I see you. I know what's in there. I'll take the core energy of what I need, like a heart, whatever. But I put different stuff. I add other stones to it. Um, maybe a little more of this, a little less that. Um, but it's the jade that really helps you relax. It's a beautiful, warm, relaxing stone. And then the celestite helps you understand while also making it stronger, but kind of calm, okay? Um, if you're, if I have to make a, if I make a custom sphere for you and you're a little um, apprehensive about something or other, I might throw in a little bit of black onyx, I might throw a little bit of uh, dragonstone jasper in there. Um, the different, uh, the different generic core orientation um, uh, spheres are going to be uh, $365. If I make a custom one for you, it's $450. Now, Star Essenite is like a generator. It actually generates, increases the amount of energy because it's got, it's got guy, a Gaia in it. It's got Gaia in there, but it's also got Gaia. The energy of the first planet and she goes inside your body when you hold that stone she goes from the she goes from the stone into you but she's all over the place over here she goes into your body and then pulls and she offsets your your uh, um, uh, core energy so much that she has to literally pull more of your personal spirit into the body to balance it out so that really increases the heck out of it plus you get some star energy uh, that's a male universal energy but it's strong it helps um, it's more forward to for a two minutes, whatever. Um, uh, if I add that to it, it's $75 more. Okay, now, uh, whether it's the regular one, you know, the regular core orientation or whatever. Um, for most people, when you want to relax to flow outside of your body, you really don't want uh, star S night in there or if so just a teeny bit you know you don't want that you want to relax you want to calm down okay if you want to 
relax your body, but put a little more oomph in it, okay, um, when you're strong energy, then you can put star arsenite in it, okay, but the star arsenite does make it stronger, okay, what I want is for you to be able to relax and have, a, have the energy soft enough where you can feel stuff, you can feel things around you. Now, that being said, um, some of you are real strong energy, and you, you know, you might want to start some of it, um, whatever you want, if you're on to, um, uh, I'll start making them a uh, party tomorrow. Uh, later on today, I have to talk with the uh, doctor here about uh, the QEG tests. Um, folks, I'm going to prove this is real because it's one way I can prove that you're real, that your abilities are real, and you, <coughs> excuse me, who you really are inside is real. Excuse me. Um, anyway. Sorry, someone being stupid on the other side. Anyway, um, I want to talk about the other side. I want to talk about everything I'm trying to do to find a way to help you relax. Um, when you can calm down and just feel at ease, which Jade's awesome for. It helps you calm down like that. When you can do that, the worries of the day, your physical health, your immune system, everything kicks in. Okay? Um, this is a sphere. Normally with spheres, I say put your hands away from them, get closer a little bit until you feel the energy, you leave it there. With these, just take it and hold it in your lap while you're relaxing. And it will help you emanate out of your body. Okay? Emanation spheres emanating part of you out of your body to free it. You're in a body, you're locked in there, but you can still free some of your energy. That's what you do when you go actual project and everything else. Okay? Um, this is important for all of you. All of you that want to wake up. You know, if you don't want to wake up, then uh, turn this thing off. Actually, you would have left long before now. Well, folks, love it. Um, as you, <laughs> thank you. As you relax and calm down, start feeling out there. See, if, see what you can feel. See if you can feel some great and infinite being that wants you to have everything. Okay, and it's just waiting for you to learn how to ask for it properly because you're stupid, and he should have taught you that anyway. It, it, besides, if it, if, he, if it could do that and it was cool, you'd already have it. I mean, it's stupid. And, and these, uh, this all-loving, all-forgiving, uh, kill you, destroy you, put you in hell God stuff? That's insane. I mean, call me insane when I was a kid. I was there. Don't worry about mistakes you've made. Worry about keeping that canoe going forward down that stream. That's what's important. And I said downstream, not upstream, upstream. Go with the flow. Folks love you, man. All I want is for you to be become you. That's all. I don't do everything I can to prove that your abilities, the things you talk with other people about, that you see and feel, and know for some reason. I'm going to leave definitive proof before I go that this is a real thing. And then all you have to do at that point is just engage yourself. Turn the, key, turn the ignition key. Turn that car or truck, whatever you have on. You get yourself going. It's important. There's a lot of stuff coming. Our friends in space, the Faye making bodies, there's all kinds of stuff going on. <clears throat> that's waiting to happen. Uh, I don't make any of this up, and pretty soon you'll have the scientific proof 
that would actually do going to people's brains is real. Because I've already started it. It's already something that is going to be really hard for anybody to explain away. The thing is, I have to do it with more people. Which is fine. I can do a thousand people at one time all over the world, no problem. Um, folks, I love you. I'm real, you're real, and I'm going to leave real proof. And, and uh, the information on what, what's out there, the books and everything, cards to help you wake up, stones, understanding sun energy, I, I don't know what else I can do except go home and take care of everything else that I need to deal with over there. Time for the janitor to get the mop out, I don't mind. Folks are looking at me. I'm kidding.